Hi, this is Michael John. Today we're doing a review on this foldable Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad. It is extremely portable. It gets very small. Let's check it out. This is a B033. I guess that's a brand, but um, I don't really, I guess, I don't really know of that brand. Well, um, here are some of the specifications. Uh, fashionable and portable slim folding keyboard with a mouse design. Uh, okay, let's just check it out. Over here are the different things that it has. Uh, features, I guess. Let's open it up real quick. And this is what it looks like folded up. And here's some instructions on how to use it, which actually I think are very useful. And mine does come with a charger cable. This is just a regular micro charger. I would have liked to see type C just so that I could uh, have one cable for all of them. And here is the instructions. Hopefully there is a uh, English version of it. Yes, there is. Okay, and here's the actual keyboard. And um, if you look at the top, this part folds down, that part folds out. There's nothing really much on the bottom. And, or this could be the bottom. There's an on off switch, there's a Bluetooth switch, and then there's a charging port. So let's open it up. And this is what it looks like when it's uh, it's full size, I guess. Fully erect, uh, some might say. And um, some of the other keyboards, they'll, uh, they'll fold in half. So there's only one spot in the middle. This one has a spot towards the end, but the keys are all pretty much normal size except the V and the T. So I gotta keep that in mind, and the spacebar, if you uh, push over there, will not work. And here is a touchpad, and let's get to connecting. First we're gonna connect to a computer and then to a phone. So over here we have a Nook made by Intel, here we have a screen, and we're gonna connect it. So first make sure you have Bluetooth, and that's the first thing, obviously to check and I do have Bluetooth over here you can see it over there over here and you can either hold it down over here and go to show all Bluetooth devices or hold down over there and it will bring up the same menu then you could add a Bluetooth device and let's get our Bluetooth device set up so first you want to turn into the on position then you want to hold down the uh, pairing button and over here it will start blinking to let you know that it's in pairing mode and now we're going to click over here and we'll search for a Bluetooth device and eventually it will find it in Bluetooth keyboard and we're going to click it, try to connect to it. Let's see what happens. And it's setting up the device. And it's ready to go. So there is no um, security pairing feature on this, like there is on some of them. And as you can see, it's ready to go. So straight up out of the box, that's pretty good. So now that we got our Bluetooth keyboard connected to Windows, we're gonna go ahead and test it. And first thing you wanna make sure is that you're set to Windows. Over here, he says it says Windows, Android, and iOS. So make sure you hit Windows, so that way it's set to Windows. And now when you press the Windows button, it opens Windows, um, and all the other things that you would click would correspond to Windows functions. When you hit Caps Lock, the Caps Lock button will turn on over here, as you can see, I'm turning it on and off. Not sure if you could see with the light overhead. Um, and let's uh, test out, let's create a text document over here and let's start typing. So, um, Ipsum Lorem Hello World. And caps lock is on. Now I'm going to turn caps lock off. And let's go ahead and test other functions. Like, for example, if I wanted to press the function button and end, because I could see in blue. So, function goes with blue. It will go to the end, and if I press home, it will bring me to the home. Uh, page down, I'm not sure what that does. Well, in this case, nothing. Um, and if you press Windows together with this way, it will bring your window that way. If you press Windows together that side, and so on and so forth. Um, so let's test out the other function buttons. So if, for example, I were to go 1 through 10, it would just do all those. No problem. Now if I wanted to do the uh, second function, I would do shift, and it would do all the second functions. Now if I wanted to do the third function, I will press um, control plus shift, and let's say I want to cut this. So I have to click that. Select all. Okay. And then I'll press control what, function, shift, and then cut. Now let's say I want to paste it, I'll do paste. So those are the function plus uh, shift buttons, and then if I would want to uh, pause or play or change the volume, for instance, yep, there it goes. If I want to play a song that's on YouTube, I'll go like this, and I'll play. So you got to hold these two buttons at the same time, plus those. Now let's say I am on YouTube, 
and I want to refresh the page with F5. So I do function F5, and it'll refresh the page. That's just the function button plus F5, um, and it does F5. So that's how you use the function buttons. Took me a second. Now let's practice with the mouse. The mouse, um, that one touch works very well, and the whole thing works very well, actually. The touch is incredible. Now how do I do right click? So I'm pretty sure if I double tap anywhere, it's right click. So that's pretty cool. So left click is just tapping. Right click is double tapping with two fingers. Not double tapping, uh, dual tap, I guess you could call it. Now the question is, uh, does scroll work? So if you hold two fingers and you go down or up, it's as if you're scrolling, just like you would on a regular keyboard. So it is working very, very well. I'm very impressed with this keyboard. It is also super thin and yeah, very thin. And, um, and I'm a big fan. It also has these rubberized things on the bottom so they don't move around very quickly, which is very nice. And all, all the functions seem to work very well. The keyboard does seem to work very well. I really do think that this is pretty decent quality. I'm very impressed. Um, the touch is actually, it feels really nice. There are no buttons here, obviously, which is a little bit uh, not typical, but it's still working fine. Um, so with that being said, um, I would definitely recommend this keyboard. Um, I know there are a lot of different versions of it. I think all of them are basically the same. Um, so you just gotta see what it is. Uh, this is an actual company. However, I don't see any markings on um, on this, which indicates that although it is a real company, which is a B033, I think they just rebranded um, as, it's just rebranded as this. Um, and, and all of them are pretty much the same. As you get to here, it does have a rubber um, parts over here, so that when it does close, um, it doesn't slam shut and ruin the other parts. So that's pretty cool too. Um, it's very thin, and it connects to us when it's, uh, let's say, the size of a smartphone. It's a little bit, uh, I guess, thicker, but uh, or longer, but not so much thicker and not so much longer. So or wider, I should say. Now let's see how this connects to a smartphone. All right, let's go to Bluetooth settings over here. Let's see what we got. Hold it down, pair a new device. Now we'll press the button here. Now you can surely see it. The blue flashing light indicates it is in pairing mode. And now we are paired. Okay, allow contact, sure. And now that it's paired, we're gonna switch to Android. So you press FN plus Android, and now it's Android. So let's uh, go to escape. Well, that's uh, actually function escape. Okay, and it's escape. Goes to the home screen. And let's see, function that way or that way. Oh, it's switching between the apps now. Okay, that's cool. And we click enter to go to YouTube. Or let's go to, yeah, let's go to YouTube. And we'll go to Michael Jillian Reviews, and we'll see what's going on over there. And here we have my reviews. So that's really nice, all my reviews here. And uh, if we want to go to the home screen again, we'll do function plus X, home screen. And I'm not sure what else there is. Um, I guess play and pause. And it also controls volume, as you can see over here. If you press the function button plus the volume, um, the it will go up and down. Computer. It will high mute it. It will give you the next track. So what is the easiest way to make six figures per we year? could pause and play. Definitely want to pause that. Um, and you can cut paste obviously, but it does work with Android. So far everything has been working with Android, which is really cool. And of course the typing is working. Let's test the typing. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, definitely working. And yeah, <laughs> and it's super cool. Um, the mouse also works. Let's get a little cursor. I could click wherever I want. I want to go to the Play Store. And there we have it, the Play Store. Now you want to go escape. And yeah, cursors are cool on Android, like, never expected. Anyway, this is a Pixel 3a working totally fine. Let's see if I turn it off and back on right away. Let's see if it will connect. If it, it will connect. Turn it back on. Let's see how it goes. Is it connected? Yes, it's connected. And there we go. And as you can see, the cursor is moving around again. Just doing its thing. I think it's really cool that I got a cursor on Android. Anyway, thanks for watching. I have a great day. I hope this helped you. I'll make a decision if you did want something like this or not. I'm going to switch it back to Windows because that's what I'll usually be using it as. And thanks and have a great day.